That's a predator. Run. Just run. Well, 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 isn't this a scenic start? Welcome everybody to episode one of series three of Terra Firma Craft here with Dankenstein. Is that literal fire? Oh, it's lava, okay. We seem to have spawned in in a desert. This is a rather interesting development. Um, so welcome to series three, Terra Firma Craft. It's Poetica, and I couldn't be more excited about this. Um, Verf's done some incredible stuff with this pack. And um, as you can see, we've got some shaders going this time to really uh, dial up the sort of immersion levels. Um, and I've even been playing a little bit with some uh, third-person camera stuff, as you can see here. Now, I really don't want to abuse or overuse this at all. So we're going to try and keep it really mostly for montages. Um, or like, you know, reviewing a build at the end to like show it off and showcase a, a big build or something. Um, probably not too much normal gameplay, uh, I'm thinking. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is it. Let's, let's get stuck in, eh? So this is all incredibly exciting. I've been looking forward to this for so long. You know, we've, we've done quite a few, uh, hardcore runs of Poetica in live streams and the like. Um, but this is going to give us the opportunity to survive <laughs> a bit longer and, um, and see, you know, see more of the kind of late game and, uh, some technological advancements. Uh, and the pack is set up quite differently to Terraforma Craft Reloaded. It's going to be quite a different experience, and Terraforma Punk for that matter, which was what we did in our first TFC series. Um, Poetica is, is full of beauty and biological diversity. And lots of different uh, stone types, wood types, um, loads of different plants and animals, um, and all the rest of it. The idea, I think, for this series is to really kind of immerse ourselves in this sort of ye olde style. So I think our technological advancements are going to be things like horsepower, you know, which is a kind of exciting prospect. Um, right, hold on. That's water. I think we should think about this because we do need to be able to actually live to tell the tale. I think, you know, this first episode is going to be escaping the desert, I think, isn't it? I was hoping we might build a little base, but I think if we can just make our way to somewhere... Um, with a little bit more food, <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> Terra Firma Craft biomes, as you probably know, are are really large. So um, we may be we may be walking for a while. You know, I'm imagining big rolling hills with uh, like huge wheat fields, um, little towns and villages in different biomes with like little dirt paths leading between the different towns. So we'll live in one biome for a bit, build a town there then move on. Bit of a nomadic, kind of old school lifestyle, horse and cart, that kind of vibe. And um, obviously there'll still be lots of technological and metalworking uh, kind of advancements to make, um, in line with normal TFC expectations. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for this series really, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited, I'm not going to lie, this pack does look incredible. Um, the desert's obviously not the uh, not showing off all of the uh, kind of biological diversity that Verf's added with some of his like custom add-ons, like um, Flory, Flory. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> that word, um, you know, adds so many new plants and uh, things to to this pack. It's quite incredible. Are those predators. The problem is we only have one stone at the moment. We need we need some more stone. There we go, just as I said it. It's a few pieces here. So you nap your tools out of stone like this. If we wanted, say, an axe, which I think we do, then we can do that here. And I think you can use the bones as handles for the tools too, but probably better to just use our sticks for now. Um, but yeah, that's interesting that we can do that. Let's get a shovel. One of the things we're going to be looking for early doors is clay. We're not going to find any here in the desert. But if we can escape this desert in episode one, we will need a shovel when we get out. Let's get a few knives. Also just, you know, as weaponry, I suppose. And, um, yeah, that's how you make tools, really. In, um, should we make a hammer as well? Probably won't need one immediately. But just to show you the shape. 
if you are new to TFC, that's that's how you make a hammer. But we we can't get a pickaxe in stone. Um, we, we 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 need to get to metal before we can get a pick. So yeah, we can make a hoe when it comes to farming. We can make javelins, of course. That does it like that's about it. Okay, so can we drink this? Yes. All right, well let's keep going this way then. Oh, there's a mountain over here. There's more stone as well. That's useful. We do want to make more tools at some point. Oh, look, and a snail came out from underneath that stone. So that's something we could eat. I think the worms they provide a tiny amount of protein. And in fact, there's a little deposit of some kind of ore. In fact, it's gold. One problem is we are already rather getting to, to the end of the first day. <laughs> um, it does look pretty incredible, this, doesn't it? I think we, we kind of just have to pick a direction and keep walking to escape this desert. So we'll probably walk through the night, but it might get very dark. And the predators are particularly vicious in Poetica. I really don't want to die on day one. So hopefully we can survive this. Well, seeing seeing as it is episode one, and this does look absolutely <laughs> incredible, doesn't it? Don't you really feel the desert here? Um, maybe we'll just do one more shot like this just now. Oh, the full moon is rising, I'm told. That's probably a really good thing, because I think it will be light. I think that means it will be nice and light. Ah, oh, there are fish in this water. Let's kill some fish. Oh, look, there's loads. But it would be good to um, get a move on through the night as well and get out of the desert sooner rather than later, I think. <laughs> And maybe, you know, we can we can settle on the kind of boundaries of this biome with with another. Oh, did I just start drowning myself? I did. <laughs> Pay attention. It does look absolutely beautiful, though, doesn't it? With the shaders and the full moon underwater. Oh, spicy. Yeah, this is just not the start I was expecting at all to be like... <laughs> Escape the Desert, episode one. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> That's a predator. Run. Just run. There's a camel here. Oh yeah, he really wants to, to have some fun. Okay. Damn. Well, let's try and keep going in the direction we want to go in. Oh, have I lost him? Kind of. Not really. Let's get up here. There we go, that should kind of confuse him a bit. Just get some height. So what are they, like jackals or something, I'm guessing? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that one scared me so much! Those things clearly aren't predators. Wow, look at that! Wow! Oh, <laughs> That thing scared me so much, man. Oh my god. I just like swung my axe in fear. Lucky I didn't uh, actually accidentally hit him. Look, stone. Let's grab it all while we can because this is. Firstly, they seem to. Yeah, the stone seems to be giving us the occasional worm and snail. But it's, it's also just literally for having more tools when, when these ones potentially break. You can see, we are starting to get a bit hungry though. I'm not sure if we've got everything we need to build a fire to cook any of this food. I think we can eat the fish raw. I think it's fine, it's just not as efficient. Should we go for it? Try and get one of these red ones. Oh, that died a lot quicker as well. Salmon. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we reached this sort of rather large body of water and then we have reached this. Now, it's just... <laughs> It's a it's a rock type change. It doesn't actually look like a biome change. It might just be a desert made of different type of sand. But anyway, it looks like we can cross this. And I'm pretty sure this was fresh water in here, wasn't it? Yeah, we can drink this. So this is not the sea. So it should be a closed body of water, meaning there should be another side reasonably close by to us. Porphyry. Porphyry? Porphyry. Something like that, I'm guessing. What is this? 
Granite. Okay, so this is actual. Okay, so this is a third. Uh, third rock type then. Still desert though. <laughs> okay, well look. I mean, as hunger's hitting us fairly hard now with all this walking, um, the sa the sand and stone types keep just switching back and forth without any kind of sign of the desert finishing. <laughs> Let's try a raw fish here and just check if this is indeed going to sustain us. It did, but we lost max health. But our protein did go up. It seems like it resolves our hunger. Oh dear. Yeah, okay, it has actually given us a hunger debuff. Okay, so raw fish is not... Not a good idea, we've lost some max health there and well let's see after this minute whether we whether our hunger's gone up or down overall, whether it had like a, a net positive or negative effect. We should have left it after we'd eaten those first two, eh? And it hadn't actually given us the status effect yet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hmm. There probably is a way to make a fire um using these driftwoods, I'm guessing. Otherwise we just really gotta hope we find a tree soon. Even just one tree you know I mean wow look at that guys this pack is it's this is gonna be very scenic playing this pack now one thing that just occurred to me is we should have checked this but we're heading south actually and we're heading towards zero my assumption is that that's probably a bad idea because we're probably heading towards the equator so I'm thinking what we might do is start heading this way now instead of just going south I think we'll start heading east. We're just going to have to try eating some raw fish again. Hope we don't get the effect. Oh, we got it straight away. Okay, well, in that case, let's just eat up till we're full. We have started to be attacked here. I'm going to try and just make a break for the water. Okay. I didn't see him coming and he just came up behind me while I wasn't recording. <laughs> so then I obviously had to start recording. Anyway. We got roughed up, but we'll get some meat out of this. Now there's also something else I saw that looked promising, which is all of that clay there. Guys, I think, and this is one of the biomes I think was only very recently added. I think we might have found ourselves a mesa, a TFC mesa. So what an amazing start. Look at this. Well guys, we may be headed in the right direction because look at this. Some plant life. What is it? Sage brush. I bet we can do nothing with it. Let's see. We can make yellow dye. I mean, this is lit. Ooh. Ooh. What's that then? Yucca. Can we do anything with yucca? Makes me think of seven days to die. Oh, hello. It does look like it's in the process of actually growing. Can we actually, can we plant this stuff? Yeah, we can. Right, okay. Well, let's pick it all up uh, for now. But we will, no doubt, try to farm this stuff then. And, yeah, it doesn't look like we can make a bed with it. But if we can make a paraglider, that's, that's pretty cool. It's a nice start. Kind of makes me feel confident, like, okay, maybe we... We got a piece of raw stone somehow. I wonder if that's one we can make our anvil from. A piece of cactus. In fact, there's a few more bits of cactus over there. Barrel cat. Okay, let's look at this. I think it's all just green dye, unfortunately. That's a shame. I guess we've just leave that behind then. But yeah, it does feel promising, doesn't it, to at least see something. Something else. <laughs> That was a large amount of yucca. I think we've got over two stacks now. And you can see there's more of it in that direction. This is east. This is the way we've been heading. 
Part of me wants to start heading north now, which would actually be away from zero. Oh, wow, there's loads more here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Assuming zero is the equator in, in Poetica. Wow, we can just get loads of this stuff. I mean, when resources are so thin on the ground, something like this that actually has use, like we can make string, we can make cloth with it. I mean, we should be grabbing all of it, shouldn't we? The problem is we can't do any of that without a bit of clay or a bit of wood anyway. Yeah, another rock type here. Still desert. <laughs> so I'm probably just uh, being too optimistic. We've got some slightly different looking plant life. Oh, look, and reeds and things. <gasps> I mean, things are slightly changing. We have some horses, people. I'm guessing without a saddle, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, I think what we'd need to do with the horses is actually, with a rope, like bring them to a base somewhere, feed them regularly to familiarize them before we can even get on them. We can kill these deer though, and I must admit, seeing these animals here fills me with promise that we are close to the end of our escape the desert journey here today. <laughs> I've uh, spent a long, t a long time walking. <gasps> that must be copper. This guy's um, played himself, I think. There, oh, cheeky, run to the other corner. Thank you. That, that simply must be copper. Okay, so let's try and keep our eye on the copper here. And we'll just head directly north. Yep, yeah, that's right, directly north from this copper. And fingers crossed, eh? The tree just over this ridge, right here. Damn. We actually need to find some drinking water again as well. I presume this is. <gasps> Alrighty guys, we have ourselves some trees. Okay, do we have drinking water? If we do, then awesome. Then this is awesome. Yes, okay. Alright, good. Well look, we can definitely make a fire and cook all our food. And at the very least, not die of hunger. So this is one of the cool things about um, Poetica is we can just place items on the floor like this. Yeah, that gives us enough to pick up a tree's worth at least. And start a little fire. So, okay, this is going a little bit from memory, but I think two logs, a few sticks, and then we light it up. Might actually just be one log. Anyway, it worked, it worked, it worked. Great. Okay, so that's cooking. So let's, yeah, let's cook. <laughs> Simple. I'll tell you what, it's good to have food to eat that won't just kill us, you know? <laughs> so, getting some protein. Getting some protein in here. Very nice. You notice our max health is dropping, and this is because TerraFirmCraft has this food group system, and in Poetica it's even harsher than it is in TFC. So we really want a balanced diet as soon as possible. 70. I don't think 70 is anywhere near enough rainfall. So I don't think we'll find clay here. Then again, there are a lot of new types of clay and things added to the pack so who knows but what we'll do whether we find clay or not we'll just finish the episode by just exploring our surroundings here a little bit and let's just see what what we do find you can see though just how many different plants and tree types we're being met with here so they are where where the start of the episode didn't really demonstrate uh, a lot of what this uh, pack has to offer <laughs> um yeah you're kind of seeing some before the end of this first episode which is which is nice. It's good that we managed to uh, escape the desert, as it were. All right, well, back home, in <laughs> inverted commas, uh, for now. What I've realized something we should have done, actually, and we'll just do this quickly now, is we should have made some torches. So as morning breaks here, then I've sorted out my inventory again, and we are going to hit the road. Um, but we're going to try and get get some clay and bring it back. Because we can't pack up all the stuff we have there. We have too much stuff. Um, but we do want to pack it all up and bring it with us. So we're going to go on one mission for clay. And we're going to live sort of on the... You know, get enough clay to just get us through this first bit. And stay close enough to the, to the copper that we found back there. 
and we'll hopefully get ourselves our set of copper tools um, and get everything packed up into clay vessels so that we're ready to then nomadically uh, travel, you know, back in this direction again to find somewhere to settle that's, you know, a bit more habitable. I right, found something interesting here that's dropping seeds. Woad seeds and woad. What is woad? Blue dye, blue dye. It's just blue. What's our rainfall here? Um, 90. Okay, it is creeping up. I do believe 120 is our target, so we've got a little way to go yet. I am very scared about predators at this point. The stakes in that regard couldn't really be higher because it is a mission away from spawn right now. If anyone remembers my previous run in with bees nests in hardcore, <laughs> um, they can be pretty dangerous things. I'm not gonna, not gonna try and break that one right now. Oh my god, there's a lion right there. I was like, that isn't my stomach rumbling. That's something that might kill us. Can you imagine if we die here and then we respawn back in that desert with nothing? <laughs> back to the start of the episode. Hey, there's more copper this way. Well, actually, look, let's take any deposits we can find here. We absolutely want because to get enough to make our first tool to then mine the stuff we found back there. Yes, this is good. This is good. There's no um, mini map. That's one important thing to say. We've got no like journey map or anything like that. But there is. Here we go. That should take us up to... 60 and 50. Yes, we've got enough for our first tool there. That's fantastic. That's a fruit tree. Alright, let's see if we can get a uh, a sapling or two. We did. We got a green apple sapling. Hmm. Oh. Uh-oh. Water for water. Okay. Yep, it's beef time. Hi, friend. We have found ourselves a little ruin here. Seems to be just the one urn, but these do usually have really nice items in them. Items that we can't pick up, of course. We're also actually getting very thirsty. Let's eat this worm. We can definitely do that much. Let's throw away 15 sticks to get a mercury ingot. And what are they? Three stones. Okay, and we've we've found an area here by going um, sort of east along the coast. I am going to get lost, <laughs> um, but we found an area here with rainfall at 135. I I hope that clay is reasonably inevitable around here now. Yeah, but we need something to drink. Wow, we do need something to drink very soon. Let's go inland and hopefully find some fresh water here. Just no sprinting. This, is, this is, Sprinting is not an option. We just walk. And pray. <laughs> this looks promising here. Just as our first bar takes a step down to pretty much nothing. Okay. Alright, not going to die to thirst today. That's good to know. Okay, we've come to quite an interesting biome here. Like This looks to be like a large wetland sort of swamp like this is all water that's pretty pretty that isn't it pretty pretty suddenly ended up in some beef again I should also say that there is one way to find the uh, clay which is this plant we just haven't seen that plant either <laughs> of course Wait, there it is. <laughs> the timing of that. There, there, right here, here. Oh, it's underneath whatever this stuff is. Marble mud. And the clay is underneath the mud. Okay. But we found, we found some clay. All right, amazing. So, okay, so what we need to do is create a sort of temporary uh, base of operations. Here, on top of all this stone. Right here. This is perfect, okay? So, our temporary base for operations will uh, have all of our stuff on the floor. So, let's start putting our stuff on the floor. 
Also Enge. <lacht>to make some clay items now the only thing that's making me a bit nervous is this guy <laughs> seems to be rather close by I think we're okay so okay so what do we want the first thing we want is a in fact no it's not like that we want one of these and earn yes we do and this I think we'll be able to put on our back and carry quite a lot of stuff in so that's good now the rest of these for the majority of them, we're just going to want a load of these uh, vessels. Which I do believe we can stack when they're unfired. I'll just start by throwing down eight. I think it'd be really good to get four water jugs going. But no, we just want to get all this stuff back to the original location. And then, I suppose stupidly, bring everything back here. So maybe we should leave all this, or most of this stuff here. Yeah, I think one of the things we definitely want to do... Oh, we need a stick, and I threw away all my sticks, didn't I? There's a stick. Is to make a spindle. I would love to be able to make a bed very, very soon and set our spawn. That would be really nice. I mean, maybe we should just start to make our base right here. Our first base, and we should just do it... Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. So this is going to be the base, is like... A temporary location here we'll pick a spot somewhere near near here to actually build but for now we're just gonna kind of uh, kind of do our thing around here and what we'll do is we'll take all these vessels back to where we'd stashed all the other stuff and get it and bring it back here so we're gonna try and do all that without using coordinates I know I am using f3 to look at rainfall uh, sometimes but I, I haven't been taking note of the coordinates so we may get lost <laughs> Let's fill the rest of this one with normal vessels, I think. Let's just do one more urn, which we can put on the floor here. Okay, right, and so then to load all these up, we need straw first. Put eight pieces of straw in each. And this is called a pit kiln, I believe, if I remember correctly. It's been so long since I've done this. Followed by eight logs. And then we just need to light this stuff uh, on fire. And it will take like eight in-game hours or something. It's, it, it isn't like a really fast process. We can just throw a torch on top to light them. And the reason we put them all diagonal from each other is so then they all light together like this. Go. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so while we wait for those, should we go kill some sheep and get some sheep skins going so that we can prepare to make a bed? I think it's three pi three sheep that we need to kill, but there's plenty here. So we'll kill three, I think. Three sheepskins. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, now it looks like these are finished, but we won't be able to pick them up just yet. I mean, partly we won't be able to pick them up because actually our inventory is completely full. 
Let's just get all our logs down for a second. If I try to pick this up, watch what happens. Ow, it burns me. And now it's on the floor as a little item there. What we actually need is a couple of sticks. I think you just craft it like this. No, like that. No, like that. Like that. Two sticks. In the offhand. Allows us to pick up hot items. Now actually what we need to do is just take this. And throw it swiftly in the water. Where it will cool. You can see our two sticks. Used quite a bit of durability already. There we go. That is now cool enough to handle. So you can see it's not, not taking up two sticks durability anymore. So we'll throw that up there. And as you can see, we have space to put things now. Ah, oh, isn't that beautiful? And the other thing is then to make start making some tools. But I think looking at how far we've run with this episode now, and um, ultimately, you know, we have made a lot of progress. We've got kind of everything we need to basically start. And so next episode, I think what we'll end up doing is uh, making all of our tools, heading back to the original spot to grab everything, and to also mine all the copper. There's a copper vein we found on the way, wasn't there? And there was also one just a little bit further back, uh, beyond where our kind of uh, sort of first little stash of items is. And we'll bring everything back here and try to build some kind of small house. Uh, we've got the materials to make a bed. Um, we've got a lot of food to cook. Um, so yes, I think I think that concludes it for episode one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Oh, we're having some some sort of healing going on. It looks like we're having a bright idea or something. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited to be back. Really excited um, about this series. Thank you very much for watching. Spread the word. Like and subscribe. Be excellent to each other. And I'll see you for episode two very soon. All right, sweet. Peace.